What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another Transformers third party review, and today we're taking a look at the third party Bad Cube Sun Surge. Uh, this is probably one of the toys that I felt the most, like, change in my feelings on this toy from the moment of opening it, through transforming it, to letting it sit on a shelf for a while. It's been an interesting experience with Sun Surge. Now, in the box, you get all the pieces and a screwdriver to turn everything that's chrome into a silver i'm not going to show it but it is a silver that's in line with the uh the gun right here uh so it's the same kind of silver um just so you can see the difference it's nice looking but i'm fine with having all the chrome bits all over my sun streaker so that's not going to happen uh this gun here it does come with these two little like rocket pods on there they're really for um his robot mode uh they pretty much give you two of them just so you can put them on the gun and if it's your thing you can tab them into the roof and have the combined gun vehicle mode thing it's not really for me so that's never going to happen on my shelf if he's in his vehicle mode now let's talk about his other big accessory so i real briefly want to mention chip chase here uh, i actually filmed a whole thing about him but it took like six or seven minutes so we're gonna actually move chip chase on to his own little review let's just say He's not a good accessory, and don't buy Sun Surge for Chip Chase. Okay, so let's try to get him to his robot mode, and he is bad cube. He does have a little bit of difficulty to him. Uh, I don't like that he's not, like, modular, like I work on the legs and get the legs done. Like, you do things and then switch to other things, and it can get a little bit tough. Um, yeah, so the first thing to do is pop both of these up and open up like sort of the hood. It's not really the hood, but it's kind of. Um, then come here and grab this little black piece and flip this out. It's easier every single time I do it. Uh, the first time I'm like, oh, this is terrible. Uh, but especially if you know to kind of get your finger behind uh, this little black piece here. And I'm using a different camera, so you guys will have to let me know if the reviews are okay here for this week and next week. Uh, yeah, we're trying something different. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so flip this open just like that and flip this gold piece or chrome piece out like that and flip this spoiler around just like this. Flip this piece up, come up to the front here, undo the doors here and give them a little upward flip just to kind of unpeg the windshield from them. And from here, take this back piece you have to kind of move the spoiler pieces out of the way uh, but you should be able to get this whole piece to come free and then you can get the whole windshield assembly out of the way of the rest of the car there and I just flip it around right now I find it easiest to do it here and just kind of leave it like that for now uh, you can fold all this up just so it's out of the way that's going to give us the most room to work with the legs and you can see his head there uh, so we want to split his legs here and I always forget untab these little panels here first then split the legs just like so and we'll get the head components out of the way just like that and we'll come back to try to finish the feet from this part it is kind of modular that we can actually go ahead and work on the feet pretty clearly. You can see these pieces are pushed out a little. Um, what you want to do is take this, rotate it all the way forward, push this piece in, and clip this into position just like that. Before we do anything else, let's take the doors, fold the window away, uh, which oftentimes you have to kind of mess with the door a little, uh, make sure it's pulled out of that socket enough to make that happen. Rotate this all the way down to kind of cover this. Bring this panel down. And I have seen uh, the window across the back of the leg if you do prefer that look um, like that. It is an option, but you know, officially you're supposed to put it in and just kind of collapse that down on itself. So now that you got this uh, and this is pegged in, uh, the official way to do it is to take this and fold this on up so it's in front of the black piece. Uh, we'll start with the official way. It's probably not going to stay like that, uh, and you'll see why later. 
Uh, when it comes to this little heel spur, it is very difficult to get it out. Uh, you got to get some friction on the rounded piece and kind of round it. But there we go. And we've got one foot done. So we'll repeat that with the other side. And you know what? This one will actually make the windscreen, uh, the windshield, I don't know, passenger window there go across the back of the leg just so you can see the difference. Uh, but you see we got that folded in. Clip it in place like that. Fold this panel down like so. We'll keep that and we'll collapse that in. Fold that down so it's just kind of going across. Um, this one I always have a little more trouble than the other one. I usually have to flip it out and flip the heel spur like that. So go ahead, close it, and bring it on up. And there we go. We've got the second foot in position, and our son Streaker can stand. And he also looks like a terrible, terrible little mess right now. Uh, that's fine. We want him to look that way. So we'll go ahead and we'll flip the uh, waist around here. We'll take these pieces here and just kind of get them out of the way here. And let's work on, uh, well, you know what? Let's get his arms out of the way here first because we need the, the room on the center torso. So we got the arms. We're going to just fold this all the way over and down. Fold it around to the side here and flip it out and down. We'll go ahead and disconnect the arms from the tabs up here just like so once again there is no piece to grip to open this really easy um, so you kind of have to put some pressure on here so you can get a fingernail in there and open up his arm cavity and close it back up again it would be real nice if there was something up there to grip it but there's not so it's wishful thinking take this piece here Fold it up and fold that piece down to make his little shoulder pauldron thing, just like that. And we'll try this again for the other side. This side just opened on its own, so that's nice. But I'm afraid to use that pressure. And there we go. And we got even more of a mess here. So now what we want to do is confusingly figure out how the spoilers have to go. You want to arrange something like that. Uh, this little black piece here is going to curve all the way in and no I'm sorry it curves all the way this way this is probably the most complicated part so we should make sure that everything is super visible here on the camera you want it to curve in this way like that and then fold on through like that so you got the two little like yellow tabs in the front and just kind of angle the spoilers down like that okay so that is probably the most complicated part out of the way we're going to take this and we'll fold it on up just like this and you should have everything kind of sitting like that right now so we'll come to the backpack piece this is going to come up right here and this little yellow piece is going to flip down and it is going to go right into that little tab right there. So that's what, how you know it's in the right position. Now most of this will probably end up adjusting on its own as you've been messing with it. Uh, but what you need it to do is fold up like this. And I don't particularly like this piece because like this piece should be a little shorter and one of these sides should be a little shorter because they do rub together. Um, and I don't like how that clips. I don't think anything's going to break, but I don't particularly like that. Anyway, this folds up just like that. This piece folds down and then up like this. And this chrome piece actually locks into the chrome piece on the little like intake pieces just like that. Now we take these little yellow pieces, fold them in. And then take those black pieces we use to move things and just bring them all the way around uh, like 90 degrees. No, nope, actually it's uh Oh man, math is failing me right now. What is uh, 180 plus 90? Whatever that was. 
I can't think of it right now. 270? There we go, 270. See, I can still do math without a calculator. But anyway, they float around and plug in there to kind of really make that backpack tight. So we're on the home stretch here of getting this guy into his robot mode. So what you want to do now is bring these, kind of adjust those so they look nice, uh, which you'll see is sort of a problem, but we'll, we'll address that after. Uh, bring his head so it's actually looking up and down. These little things, you need to rotate the little gray uh, double hinges there on here so they're, they can kind of go flat here. And you bring this on up and you have tabs on the wheels here and the tab holes here. And you just kind of peg them in just like this. And there we go. We've got the Sun Streaker in his uh, robot mode. And this is one of those robot modes that has really, I don't know, my, my opinion on it has changed an awful lot from when I first got it to now, um, both positively and negatively. Um, it's also worth noting he does have one more face in the box. Um, I've never put it on. I've heard it doesn't really make too big of a difference, uh, so we're not going to show it. So, yeah, this is Sunstreaker here. He looks like Sunstreaker, but things aren't right to me. Uh, the arms feel too long on this guy. The torso feels way too small, and I mean, from here down, it's fine. Um, this piece right here on his chest with the fake windshield, like, this really should kind of fold in a little nicer, but it doesn't, so it's always sticking out a little. And as far as I've seen, like, you can see, like, it doesn't look like it's lined up right up here. But I don't see really any way to make this particular side fit in better than the other side. Like, if I'm doing something wrong, uh, please leave a message in the comments. Because I would love to get this little jagged end uh, to go away. I really don't like that look on this guy. Uh, articulation on this guy. Uh, the head is on a swivel uh, up and down and side to side. It is a little bit loose for my taste. I could uh, use it a little bit thicker. Uh, easy enough, it's just a, a like a mushroom peg there. Uh, easy to give it a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, clear nail polish and fix it up. The arms have a ratchet on here and then a ball joint on the shoulder for a pretty good range of motion. You do have a bicep swivel. Uh, which has a double jointed elbow, uh, a upper one and a lower one for plenty of range of motion out of there. Um, the lower one is just a friction elbow, and the upper one is a ratchet. So I'm not really sure I understand the logic, but fortunately his gun is not super heavy, so it's not a problem. Wrist is on a swivel. Uh, you do have the interlocked fingers there. Uh, as you saw in transformation, he does have a waist swivel coming down to the legs. Um, the skirt armor does get out of the way and you can see it's just, you know, a swivel and a swivel. Uh, you do have a thigh swivel, a knee joint, no swivel in the knee. And then when you come down to the foot, um, he does have a tilt in the ankle. Uh, it's a little bit hard to use, but it's there. So this so this is the official way that Bad Cube wants you to transform Sunstreaker with the feet down. And I just want to take a look at the back, uh, just so you can see. I actually do think it looks better with the window covering the back of thigh. Your mileage may vary, whatever you prefer. Um, but yeah, this is a problem. Uh, because when you bring out your side swipe here, which again is the only size comparison that really matters... Sunstreaker does end up feeling at least a little short. Uh, in the video, he ends up <laughs> looking better to me than he does in person. Like, it's much closer looking, I guess, than it does when you see him from a different angle. Uh, yeah, but anyway, Bad Cube has also let you take this and kind of cheat his feet a little like this, which does give him extra height. And that does feel more on the money to me uh, for the twins, and I guess now Sunstreaker is actually a little bit bigger than Sideswipe, uh, all things considered. But somehow, when he's standing there, 
he looks better. But it does bring me to the issue. He is a lot of legs. I mean, his legs go up above the hips of Sideswipe here. And that kind of plays into what I think is the exact problem with this toy. Uh, the midsection, he's too much legs, too little midsection. If he had like this little like ab piece, maybe in like black or yellow, uh, just kind of extending out the torso, like it really, to me, uh, wouldn't have been a problem with his feet in the proper way to make him feel like he was the right size. So of course Sideswipe has his gun here and you just take the handle and fold it out here just like that. It's a little bit stiff but it works. I'll open his fist here. It just kind of goes in and it pegs in nice and solid. No complaints. The gun looks good if you keep those uh, little missiles on. Uh, if you don't like those missiles, go ahead, take them off, and go ahead and make sure that the gun stays tabbed into his hand in the process. But, yeah, I mean, it looks good without that. Uh, you can take these little things. Well, you can take one of them. The other one's on the floor now. And you can actually just peg them on into his back to store them. Or you can even put them up. You know, it is like a jet pack. So you do have that option. The other big thing about this is, though, uh, assuming we can get his little compartments open here. Come on. We can do it. Gonna have to get the handy dandy fiddly bit extractor. We'll take that. And there we go. If we put his hand away, just like that, uh, I assume that this is from a G1 episode. I can't remember it. Uh, maybe it's just from the toy. But you can put the missile where his hand is. So let's try to get this guy transformed back into his vehicle mode. Hopefully with little hassle. Uh, I'm going to start with disconnecting the backpack out of here. Um, from here, disconnect these little shoulder pieces. Uh, which I have got a little bit of stress on the inside piece there. Um... I don't think it affects anything, but it's right by that one hole where everything pegs in. So just be aware of that. Um, from here, take this little double jointed thing and go ahead and carefully get them past all the other bits here. And fold them together just like this. And take these pieces and unpeg them from their proper position. And just kind of leave them like that for now. We'll take the hood piece here flip it out and we've got that loose now the whole backpack connection is is loose we're gonna take these arms and I like to just go ahead and do these all right now uh, his gun is a super useful tool to open up these arm cavities and fold his hand away so uh, that's one good thing I guess about the way they did the arm cavities take these flip it up and flip it in just like so. We got that. Now you're going to take these and fold them together. You do have a tab and a hole. So I'll peg in just like that on both sides here. Like so. Now the next thing to do is to flip these. And you see you have these like double uh, pieces right here. You kind of take them and they're going to plug in just like so on the car, and they actually do clip in. So now's a good time to do that, uh, just kind of gets things out of the way. So get it up, get it over, and clip it right into that back piece there. And that should be a fairly solid connection. So once we have that, we'll fold this on down. We'll fold out the spoiler pieces and fold it out again on that black piece. Uh, just make sure we have the room to clear the back shoulder pieces here, like so. And we can bring this all the way down, and you can fold these on in. And assuming we've done these right, you can see that that black piece is behind uh, these shoulder pieces when we have it flipped up. So go ahead and just kind of get them in position. And the whole back of the car is really now in the position we need it to be. 
Uh, make sure our spoilers are flipped this way just because it's easier to get uh, this part of the car around. So you might as well go ahead and flip that here. Just kind of get this in position. Flip out all the backpack bits here. And go ahead and pass them over the spoiler now. Uh, just so we know we have this part in the right position and we have the back of the car in the right position. And this can all kind of come down and sit in its proper location here. And it can be a little bit tough to tell. And usually if it's not sitting right, uh, you can see right here, it's because... I don't know how well you're going to see this. Let me see if we can focus it in on there. Uh, there is a pin right here, and it gets caught on that section of the car every single time. And it's not even just that it needs to be, you know, shortened up or uh, pushed through more. Like, it's on both sides. That little pin just holds everything up so bad. Uh, but once you have that piece past the pin, the whole back of the car should pretty well come together, uh, as you can see. And we actually, from this point, if you really want, you can put the whole back of the car together. Just take these black pieces and kind of peg everything down in the back here and flip this chrome bit up, flip that, and attach the spoiler like this, and there you go. I mean, that's the back of the car pretty much in the position we need it. So with the back of the car done, we're going to go ahead and flip the waist around here, and we'll go ahead and start working on this a bit. Uh, I start by unpegging the windows here and bringing them all the way around, making sure that I can clear everything and get those windows actually extended properly. So go ahead, pull that out, clear everything. Move it till you get those windows out. Take these back pieces and kind of open them. Break this connection here, not like really, but you know, disconnect them. Now, what you need to do with this back piece here, make sure that these are kind of uh, making like a little W, I guess is the best way to describe it, and fold them in here. And the legs do need to be split apart a little. And the head needs to be rotated. Um, usually it'll be, I believe, like this. You want to have it rotated around and flat against, you can see the recess in here to receive his head. That is going to go right up here between his legs, like so. And then that should let us actually, we'll get these panels out of the way, close these up and they will peg right into the, what would be his collarbone area. And you can see they kind of want to pull apart, but uh, we'll sure that stuff up. And from here, just get these pieces here to fold up between the sides of the car because that's how they get hidden. So now we've got that. Uh, everything is loose down here. Just make sure that our windshield comes down past these car doors. Uh, you can go ahead and kind of peg these into position. And you can see those tabs that are on the windshield do get a little bit in the way. And we're stuck on the fake windshield there. This is definitely one of the harder parts to get everything past the windshield tabs. But there we go. So now we got like most of the car complete here. We can take these tabs here and fold them up to kind of connect these and pinch these two pieces, the sliding pieces here together. And that should better secure the car, but it's still not perfect. Uh, we'll take these uh, heel spurs, fold them in. Make sure you have this because I got, the first time I transformed this, I got to this point and I'm like, why doesn't it go together anymore? Um, yeah, so open the hood, swing these down and in. And this is where I think the whole car really kind of shares everything up. Connect this all together, which should make all this stuff back here line up better. 
and then go ahead and drop this closed and it should all tab in if you don't something's just a little bit out of alignment but there you go he's back in his car mode and uh, yeah he's good to go overall I think he's pretty good um, I could still see us getting a better Sunstreaker uh, but I don't think he's terrible I certainly think he looks better than Omnigonics and frankly if you've got this guy on the shelf he really needs his brother and uh, yeah, I just don't know what would replace this. Uh, certainly not a Tiger Tracks. Tiger Tracks is a terrible stand-in for Sunstreaker. Um, so it's pretty good. I just It's just that torso there that gets me a little, but it's like 90% there, and surprisingly, it's pretty good. And while the transformation looks hard, um, it's not so bad, especially when you're not looking at it behind a camera. Uh, it cleans up nice, and uh, yeah, I don't... I don't know. It's one of the better bad cube toys, that's for sure. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.